Report to you live here of the wet saunas at Elwood Spa in downtown Toronto. It's live from last week, episode 170. Let's go! Woohoo! Hot and steamy. Welcome, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So first of all, since this year is a leap year, I just wanted to wish y'all a happy early first day of spring. Happy first day of spring, guys! And on that note, last night on the last day of winter, after playing some indoor volleyball, I got to the Baby Rouge outside, and evidently it was just too cold to start her up. So I decided to open her up and take a look at the motorcycle battery, and figured I had to go home and recharge that battery before trying to start her up again. Anyways, last night after getting yet another lackluster sleep, I woke up early to drive the wife downtown for her day shift before recalling this scene from a previous Laugh From Last Week episode. Off to the far distance in the background, I see this new building downtown that's illuminated in red. And although I feel like I haven't seen this building before, I'm gonna make it a mission of mine to eventually locate which exact downtown building this is. Finally finding out where that very bright lighted building is, being that new TD building, in downtown Toronto. I had also prepared myself to go to Blue Mountain today, seeing that I had a free day and unlike last time I was here, it was actually nice and snowy outside, skiing and snowboarding the hills with my former co-worker, Sydney. <laughs> So unfortunately guys, during our session today, since the weather has been a little bit warm currently, there may have been a couple of rocky parts on the hill that I might have skimmed over, resulting in a couple of gashes and lacerations to my board that I'm not too pleased about. Now guys, on to some better news, which include the specialty eats of the day. Going back to this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, Going back to the Saga home to enjoy this Baconator breakfast sandwich, which I honestly thought were amazing. It's so good. It's actually pretty good. Sid and I pit stopped at the local Orangeville Tim Hortons slash Wendy's restaurant to enjoy this delicious meal. Cheers, Sid. What is this called? The Baconator, Baconator. breakfast? Oh, yeah. And on our way home from the mountain, we decided to check out a bucket list thing that I've always wanted to try. Being in the area of Shelburne, Ontario at Highway 89 and Highway 10, we decided to try these cross-intersection rival burger places, Super Burger and Champ Burger. So first up, visiting Super Burger, trying out their cheeseburger with the works. All right, Sid. Super burger. Cheers. Burger number one. Yeah, technically. All right. Oh, that's cool. It's so hot. And next, going to Champ Burger to try out their Angus cheeseburger with their works. 
restaurant too. Champ Burger. Cheers. And afterwards, guys, we had this as our verdict. Okay, Sid, on the count of three, let's say which one is the better burger. Okay. Either Super Burger or Champ Burger. Okay. okay? One, two, three. Super, Super Burger. burger. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think the X factor was mayo. the mayo. Need the mayo. <laughs> but yeah, moving on, we have our birthday greetings of the day. Starting out with a birthday shout out to a friend that I made going to the Baby Metal concert a while back, as well as several Super Kicked events in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nick. Happy birthday, Nick. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my friends who I made during their university clubbing days, of whom I'm also motivated by the early morning workouts that she posts on social media. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kayla. Happy birthday, Kayla. I'm hoping that all my friends that have the birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways guys, now I'm on my way to pick up the wife from the hospital from her day shift before once again going to play some indoor volleyball after more than six hours of driving as well as a full day session of snowboarding subbing in for a friend at a session at Wexford Collegiate. what I would consider as a decent restful sleep last night. Staying in today, the wife and I noticed that one of our favorite Netflix shows that you guys know that we have definitely binged in the past had released the first four episodes of their new season last night. The one and only Physical 100 Underground. And for some reason, we forgot just how exciting this show was with some of these scenes showing some of our raw reactions to some of the action in the competition. Opening his leg. Oh, oh. <laughs> I see. Oh, oh and back. Oh. Wow. <laughs> My God. Oh my God! Three, two, wow! wow. <laughs> 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 but moving on, looking out at the winter blizzard type of weather that we have outside the condo today, I'm currently getting ready to be off to one single night shift tonight. And with that, I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. After yet another poor post-shift sleep today, where I woke up to edit some live from last week videos in the afternoon while still half asleep, the wife got me to open up my eyes a little bit by putting on the three and a half hour long concert of the Taylor Swift Eras Tour, where we obviously enjoyed ourselves watching and dancing along to this concert. But guys, unfortunately, with the length of this feature, the wife and I had to tap out at the two and a half hours mark after we had our fill of Taylor. But guys, moving on, we'll just do a quick birthday shout out to one of my buddies out there that you guys know has made several upon several cameos on previous Live From Last Week videos. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Robson. Happy birthday, Robson. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, currently at this time, where I'm probably playing the most volleyball I've played in my life, participating in the sport five out of the past six days, 
As you guys already know, starting out with a Saturday volleyball tournament all day, playing some beach volleyball on Sunday, my pickup indoor volleyball session at Collège Francais on Monday, subbing in for my friend Debbie's team on Tuesday, taking a quick break on Wednesday last night to go to work, and wrapping it up with another indoor volleyball session tonight. This evening, I was headed back to the Young and Eglinton area to play indoor volleyball once again with the Thursday Midtown Indoor Volleyball Group. Let's go. So waking up after my body got its now normalized less than six hours of sleep, I looked outside the window to see this view of winter just staying around while thinking that it's still just like the holidays. Looking forward to give the little sister a belated Christmas present that I forgot to give her the last time she was in town. But moving on, making our way in this beautiful romantic snow-like weather outside, parking downtown at the Chelsea Hotel. The wife and I decided to have a little day at a location that we were at just a little while back, having a spa day at the famous Elmwood Spa. And of course, being me, just like I've done when I've had opportunities to wear a robe in the past, I pranced around and did my patented Ric Flair in the change room. I was also able to check out their amenities here, including the many luxurious bath products that they had, utilizing their hot steam sauna that I had all to myself, staying there until I couldn't handle the heat no more, oh, hot. It's hot. trying out their hot tub overlooking the water therapy pool, and enjoying the winter reviews from the comfort of the indoors, while using their relaxation sunroom. Also, much like the last time we were here, the wife and I enjoyed a nice massage by the fireplace to wrap up our day session here at Elmwood Spa. Actually guys, before we left, compared to the last time I was in this exact same room, I quickly visited the LED steam room inside the men's change room all to myself but this time with a little bit more steam than I had originally anticipated. And with that, we can now say that our day spa day has officially been completed. But next up for dinner, we hit up this spot on the Danforth, famous for their fish and chips in Toronto, getting some takeout to bring home, to try out some halibut, haddock, seafood platter, and chips, of which the wife and I definitely enjoyed and devoured tonight. Oh, it's good. Oh, the scallop is good. But before we can stay in and enjoy the night together, the wife had been called in to work 
a callback shift. So guys, I decided to drive her back downtown to drop her off at work before checking in on the motorcycle, which I parked on the side of the street earlier this week. Seeing her with snow all on top of her from all the accumulated snowfall that we had. I mean, just look at the motorcycle helmet, which had accumulated a whole mound of snow itself, of which was just pouring out, as you guys can see here. But yeah, either way, just like I've done to my vehicles in years past, I broke out the trusty orange shovel to clean out the area around the motorcycle until the surrounding region was cleaned to my liking. Anyways guys, before finishing the segment for today, we'll just do a quick birthday greeting to one of my cousin-in-laws in the Philippines. This birthday shout out goes out to you Judy Mae. Happy birthday Judy Mae. And we've got a birthday shout out to one of my World Youth Day friends out there. A buddy of mine who you guys remember I ran into randomly at an AEW event in Hamilton just last year. This birthday shout out goes out to you Gerald. Happy birthday Gerald. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After napping for a quick five hours or so, I woke up early to drive, make my way back downtown to pick up the wife from her callback shift this morning, enjoying the scenic views of the parks while driving back home. And guys, one piece of good news that I have to share, when I got back to the condo, I was able to pass out for another couple of hours, getting almost nine hours of sleep in a 24 hour time span. As well, another good piece of news that I have to share with y'all, from achieving these milestones in the app of Duolingo in the past, guess who has now achieved a 2500 day Duolingo streak. But moving on, before I go in for my first of a scheduled three night shifts tonight, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my Ryerson friends who I remember playing indoor volleyball with not too long ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. We also got a birthday shout out to one of my American friends out there who I remember meeting at an SMIOA gala event back in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Erica. Happy birthday, Erica. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Boy, oh boy, guys, what a busy, non-stop, call bell-filled shift last night was. Literally having my stress levels through the roof, having frequent meds to be administered, as well as tending to patient call bells from one end of a long hallway to the other. So much that I really felt like I needed Jesus this morning. So, breaking out this baby for the first time since I got her several months ago last year, the wife and I went to Palm Sunday morning mass at the local downtown Our Lady of Lords. First, with a procession in the chilly outdoors before resuming indoors to witness these new paintings and the new renovations that they currently have there and taking our palms home for this year's Palm Sunday. But guys, one thing that had added to my stresses over the past 12 hours or so, recalling all these numerous issues that I've had with the Mini over just the past couple of months, when I got home to park the Mini, I saw this new notification on the dashboard. But guys, the wife did help me get my mind off being stressed once again by making this delicious breakfast for me to have, which you guys can see I thoroughly enjoyed this morning before passing out a little later than I wanted to, only to once again have a poor three and a half hour sleep post-shift. Anyways guys, it's now off to go in for my second of my scheduled three night shifts tonight. And well, wish me luck that this one isn't going to be as stressful as ones in the current past. So remember how I was hoping for a less stressful night shift? Well guys, unfortunately, that didn't happen. 
Arriving to work early, but leaving late? Helping colleagues that didn't even get an allocated break during their 12-hour shift? As well as dealing with unwitnessed falls, a sick patient that we sent up to ICU, and having a surge seven-patient assignment? All on top of how busy and stressful the floor already is, I am just really looking forward to my hard-earned days off. I mean, like, for example, I even paced out the steps it takes to get from one patient to another, of whom are on opposite ends of the unit, by the way, which took exactly 100 paces each way. So guys, calculating that, that's 200 steps round trip. And after a 12 to 13 hour shift with all the call bells going off, several meds to be administered, and multiple tasks to do in between seeing patients, those steps and time of travel throughout the unit definitely add up. Anyways guys, in between night shifts, after yet another restless three hour post night shift nap, we'll just do a quick birthday shout out to one of my former coworkers who was a joy to always work with and who I feel like I haven't seen since their holiday reunion party a couple winters ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Megan. Happy birthday, Megs. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And so with that, guys, before I go in for my third of a scheduled three night shifts tonight, really hoping and praying that it won't be as stressful or as busy as it has been over the past week, we will wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Master.